The MX3D bridge is the future of what is possible with 3D printing construction. It is a fully functional, 12-meter long, stainless steel pedestrian bridge in the heart of Amsterdam. It was originally conceived in 2015 and after years of testing and building, finally made its debut in 2021. This magnificent structure uses 4,500 kilograms of stainless steel and was 3D printed by robots in a factory over a period of six months. These robots are able to rotate their arms along six different planes of movement and build structures by depositing small quantities of steel into layers. The MX3D is as smart as it is beautiful. It is fitted with an extensive sensor network that collects data and measurements such as strain, displacement and vibration, and even environmental factors such as air quality and temperature. This allows engineers to monitor the bridge's health in real time and also monitor changes over the course of its lifespan. Weighing in at less than 80 pounds, the APWorks Light Rider is the world's first 3D printed motorcycle. The Light Rider has what is known as an organic exoskeleton, a frame that was built using an algorithm based on natural growth patterns, but strong enough to handle everyday weight and stress demands. Materials used to build this beautiful bike include a special type of aluminum powder called Scamaloy. Scamaloy, as APWorks describes it, is corrosion-resistant and stronger than the usual type of aluminum powder used in 3D printing. The Light Rider features a 6-kilowatt electric motor, can reach speeds up to 50 miles per hour, and boasts a range of 37 miles on a single charge. Although beautiful, lightweight and environmentally friendly, getting your hands on one may be difficult as there are no plans for mass production. As such, only 50 have been produced with a price tag of $56,000 each. Imagine having an entire house built for you in only 8 days. That's exactly what SQ4D was able to accomplish when they completed construction of the world's largest permitted 3D printed home in January of 2020. SQ4D uses a patent-pending technology known as the Autonomous Robotic Construction System, or ARCS for short. ARCS is capable of printing cement structures ranging from 500 to over 1 million square feet. Aside from its speed, SQ4D's printing technology has a number of other benefits including a significant reduction in labor costs, as well as material costs. SQ4D's first 3D printed home was a 1,900 square foot home that required only 48 hours of print time and was built on site using less than $6,000 worth of materials. In August of 2022, they broke their own record when a four-bedroom, two-bath, 2,000 square foot home was printed in Islandia, New York. Rocket company Relativity is sending 3D printed projects to space. With the fusion of 3D printing, artificial intelligence and autonomous robotics, Relativity has been on the move printing rocket structures and engines using less parts, and in a shorter amount of time. Stargate is the world's largest metal 3D printer and is a component of what Relativity labels as the factory of the future. Stargate was used to create Terran 1, the world's first entirely 3D printed rocket. Designed and printed in the US, Terran 1 is said to be the most innovative product to emerge from the aerospace manufacturing industry since space privatization was developed 20 years ago. A dedicated mission for the Terran 1 comes at a price tag of $12 million and can handle a maximum payload of almost 2,800 pounds. 3D printing technology took to the waters when the University of Maine's Advanced Structures and Composite Center built the world's largest 3D printed boat. Named the 3 Dirigo, this 3D printed boat was the first of its kind, measuring out at 25 foot, weighing approximately 5,000 pounds, and being able to support up to seven people. At the time of its printing in 2019, the University of Maine laid claim to three Guinness World Records which included the world's largest prototype polymer 3D printer, the largest solid 3D printed object, and the largest 3D printed boat. The 3 Dirigo was printed in only 72 hours at a cost of around $40,000, and testing for the boat was done at the Elfon W2 Ocean Engineering Laboratory in front of a crowd that included engineers, students, federal and state officials, members of the U.S. military, and even a few U.S. senators. German designer and architect, Stefan Henrik, turned a lot of heads in the 3D printing community, as well as the fashion community when he introduced the Cryptide, a fully 3D printed shoe. 
The cryptide derives its name from cryptids, mythical creatures such as Bigfoot that leave behind unique footprints. The cryptide has an open sole design that is combined with the upper part of the shoe. Henrik's shoe was created using a Sintratec S2 system and a special material known as TPE elastomer. By varying the wall thicknesses of the shoe, specific parts of the shoe become stiff, while other parts remain flexible and soft. This ingenious method in 3D printing technology makes the shoe not only comfortable, but ergonomic as well. The cryptides can be fully customized as well. Because they are 3D printed, the wearer's foot can be scanned for precise measurements, with the shoes being printed specifically to those measurements. Hexer is looking to take safety to the next level with 3D printed helmets. Using a smartphone application, users can record a precise, 250,000 point head measurement which is sent to Hexer for printing. Upon receiving the measurements, Hexer is able to print out a 3D helmet tailored specifically to a rider's head. Not only are Hexer helmets fully customizable, but they are safer than traditional foam helmets as well. Hexer helmets utilize a curved honeycomb design which is 68% more efficient at controlling force, which results in a 26% lower risk of brain injury than that of their foam helmet competitors. Keeping the environment in mind, Hexer helmets are manufactured with a plant-based material which is made from 100% castor bean oil. The Hexer website offers riders a number of different outer shell options which can easily be switched out and fitted over the 3D honeycomb layer. Italian-based electric car company XEV and 3D printing company Polymaker have teamed up to bring forth the world's first mass-produced 3D printed electric car. Known as the LSEV, this one-of-a-kind vehicle consists of only 57 parts, excluding a few areas such as mirrors, lights and displays. The LSEV's parts can be printed in only three days, and brings with it the benefit of a significant reduction in weight and a savings in cost. Weighing in at just under a thousand pounds, the LSEV is significantly lighter than similar-sized vehicles which typically weigh at least a ton. The LSEV was a hit even before mass production began. In 2019, XEV received more than 7,000 pre-orders before the LSEV was brought to market with 5,000 of those coming from the Italian post office and the other 2,000 coming from Marvel, a popular ride-sharing service. The LSEV has a top speed of 43 miles per hour and can cover a maximum range of up to 93 miles on a full charge. Israeli designer Donit Pelag is credited with creating the world's first 3D printed clothing line. Pelag founded her studio in 2016 after graduating from college. After nine months of research and development, she was able to produce her first five-piece collection. Using home printers, the collection took over 2,000 hours to print, or roughly 400 hours per outfit. For those looking to produce your own 3D printed clothing, you're in luck. Through her website, Pelag offers a beginner-friendly 3D printing workshop that will equip students with the necessary tools and skills needed to begin their printing journey. The course is a three-hour long video course divided up into 25 lectures. Why spend hundreds of thousands of dollars buying a Lamborghini when you can just print one in your garage? That's exactly what Sterling Bacchus and his son did when they made headlines for printing a Lamborghini Aventador. Sterling and his son utilized 3D models for the Lamborghini that they found online and made a few modifications. Using three different 3D printers, they produced body panels, taillights, headlights, air vents and more from a variety of plastics. While the 3D Lamborghini is fully operational and drivable, many of the internal parts that require extra strength such as the chassis and engine were not 3D printed. The project itself has cost Bacchus a little over $20,000 which pales in comparison to the cost of a real-life Lamborghini. Thanks for tuning into another episode of Future Tech Now. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and we'll catch you in the next video.